I noticed a father in the hallway and he had his hand on his head and he was, he was tearful. And he just looked at me and he said, I haven't been able to make my daughter smile in three days and she's in her room now and somebody gave her this backpack and she's got this pillow and she's opening everything and she's grinning from ear to ear. It was the most affirming moment. When Alicia was a sophomore, she was diagnosed with a very rare and tenacious cancer. While the doctors were focusing on her medical condition, we learned the importance of focusing on the quality of life. And that's what inspires the Alicia Rose Victorious Foundation. When I was 14, I was diagnosed with CML. What you notice as a teen being in a hospital is that your normal is gone. You lose that sense of your social world. Your options are really limited to staying in your room or going to the playroom, which is full of kids and kids' toys. And to me, as a teenager, the playroom wasn't even an option. So the first time I met Alicia, she rolled into my room in a wheelchair, and we hit it off right away. We both were constantly talking about this. There was still something lacking. There was still something that felt isolating. It always came down to the fact that there was nowhere for us to go. I'm a child life specialist for virtual Voorhees. I help to minimize the stress associated with healthcare experiences. When teenagers come to the hospital, it can be very challenging. Many hospitals have playrooms that are available for younger children that are hospitalized, but it's not developmentally appropriate for teenagers. I think as a physician, I, I like to think that we're very good at focusing on the medical care of our patients. We generally have less of a focus on the psychological aspects of the child's care, which is so important, especially for those who are in the hospital for a prolonged period of time. I've seen firsthand how important the teen lounges and teen kits are for the hospitalized adolescent. Teenagers that I could not get to leave their rooms because I didn't want to interact with the little kids, suddenly I'm getting paged that they're ready for me to open the teen lounge first thing in the morning and they want to keep it open late. I remember when the teen lounges were first put in and just knowing that there was finally a place for teens in the hospital. I knew that that's all that Alicia and I ever wanted and that she would be elated that this was happening. When I first got my kit, it was, it was just kind of like a good feeling to know that there was other people kind of like looking out for me and caring for me and that they would send something like that to me. So it was nice to know that other people were caring for me. The teen kits are just as important and the pillows are just as important as the teen lounges. Some teenagers who are so sick, they can't leave their hospital room. So to get a teen kit or a pillow, it, it's just another reminder that you're not alone. There is a community out there for you. We need your support to provide necessary programs for teens with cancer and other life-threatening illnesses. To learn more about how you can make a difference in the life of a hospitalized teen, visit victoriousfoundation.org. Thank you for your support.